Hey guys, Chelsea the Palliative PA here. Let's talk nausea. So nausea is a tough topic and I'm actually continuing to learn about this, but I'm gonna share like a few things that I've learned so far and a few things that might be helpful to someone else. So sometimes one of the first things that is helpful to figure out is why does this person actually have nausea? Like what's the root cause? And then sometimes if you can figure out what the cause might be, which could be multifactorial, but that can actually help you kind of like gear how to treat that. So the first type of nausea could be coming from what's called the chemoreceptor trigger zone or CTZ. So these are the types of nausea that happen from like biochemical changes in our body like kidney failure, liver failure, um, medication related nausea, nausea related to sepsis, and these pathways can definitely trigger vomiting. The next pathway is something GI related, so something that's either causing emptying problems, inflammation, something going on in the GI tract. So for example, severe constipation, peptic ulcer disease, delayed emptying for some reason, chemotherapy causing problems, lots of things can affect the GI tract and cause nausea. Another pathway is the vestibular pathway. So this is the one that's really specific to motion sickness. So if you've ever had like car sickness or you've gotten on the Ferris wheel and got really sick afterward, this is the one that kind of makes you feel like you're moving. And the last pathway is from the cerebral cortex. Cerebral meaning brain. So things that trigger this one are things like unpleasant smells, sights, anxiety can trigger it, increased intracranial pressure or like meningeal irritation. And this can be a hard one to treat. Some. So sometimes nausea can also have multiple of these factors and that makes it a little bit harder to choose which agent, but I'll talk about the agents in another video. So let me know which questions you have before I do that one and follow along for more.